Pacific Islands Forum Secretariat Representative Alfred Sowakai expressed that Palau is doing very well compared to other forums because of good infrastructures, roads, and accommodations. Alfred further confirmed that anywhere between 300 to 500 people, including leaders, senior officers, and ministers, attend the annual leaders' meeting based on the history of the forum. We expect um, most, if not all, of the leaders to attend from the six, um, 15 island um, countries to attend, as well as um, senior officials and ministers from other development partners uh, to attend. So in our experience, between three to 500 people attend um, the forum. So it's a big event. It's a big opportunity for Palau. Um, to showcase what it has, um, its development, its facilities, and also put forward um, Palau's concerns on the international community as we work towards um, the third uh, international conference, United Nations Conference on uh, Small Island Development States in Samoa in September, and after that for the United Nations General Assembly in New York and the um, climate change meeting called by uh, the United Nations um, Secretary General. Hosting a massive event like the Pacific Islands Forum can be costly for the host country in terms of venues, food, accommodation, transportation, and other expenses. However, Alfred indicates the outcome of the meeting outweighs the cost. It is a uh, considerable amount of money sometimes spent but the the impact and the um, outcomes from it, I think, far outweigh the cost because in terms of exposure for Palau, um, Palau will be the forum chair for the next 12 months come um, uh, late, August, late July when we meet. And so Palau will be on the, on the world stage as the forum chair and representing um, 16 countries. The exposure Palau will receive will also help push the nation's regional and international agenda forward. Between 50 to 80 regional and international journalists or more normally covers the forum, which will give Palau an additional boost in the world stage. We expect a strong media contingent. In the past, we've had about between 50 and 80 media people attend, and there will be a media workshop held immediately before the forum. Um, just to the system and to brief them, give them some training and the opportunity to attend the forum. The annual Pacific Islands Forum brings together 15 forum member countries, such as Samoa, Vanuatu, Australia, and New Zealand, in addition to associate members, observers, and development partners, including the European Union, the Republic of China, and the United States. Members discuss regional and international issues, including fisheries, trade, regionalism, and other common and mutual issues of concern. As a host country, Palau will be taking over the role of chair of the forum from the Marshall Islands, the previous host. This is an opportunity for the nation to push its local, regional, and international agenda forward during the duration of the year as it serves as the forum chair. The meeting is scheduled for July 29 to August 1st of this year, and so far most accommodations in Palau has been reserved for guests uh, attending the forum as the nation continues to prepare. This is Rolina Jonathan reporting for OTV News.